this is going to be today's tutorial, which is Fiji waves in your hair, which is perfect for the summer. So if you would like to learn how I created this texture, keep watching. So I'm starting off with my hair a day old. I washed it yesterday and I primed my hair with Orbe Run Through, which is a primer for my hair and has lots of moisture in it. And then I used Orbe Creme for Style, which has memory and moisture as well, so that will help with heat protection in my hair. So what I'm going to do is start off at the bottom of my hairline. My section's about two inches wide. I'm using a one and a quarter inch conger. And for this look, I don't want it to look perfect, so the sections don't have to be the exact same every single time. And I'm, my hair is quite short underneath, so for this part, I just want to get a little bit of movement in there so it ties together with the rest of my hair. And I'm curling them in all different directions. And when I roll it in the curling iron, I start, I put it in about like three inches away from the root and then I roll it at the root first and then I pull through to the ends. This way you're creating some body at the top as well. And then when I take it out, I just pull it down to stretch the curl. So it's not too bouncy. Okay, so the next section I took was about an inch wide again and I did the exact same thing that I did on the first section. So I curled them in all different directions. Okay, now as I'm moving up the head and my hair is getting longer, I'm going to use a different technique. So I'm going to just move my hair out, starting at the roots, and I'm wrapping my hair around the middle. I'm leaving the ends out, so you don't want the ends to be curly. And then once that heats up, I'm going to just take the iron and move it up and down to help loosen the curl. Just drop it and pull it down. And I always start wrapping at the root. This way you keep body moving. It's pretty long up here, so I'm wrapping it twice around the barrel. I'm still leaving the ends out. And so if I was to just leave it like this, it would be quite curly, and I don't want that for this look. And the difference when you pull it throughout, when you pull the barrel up and down. It just softens it a little bit, like that. And it's kind of sticking out on the ends and I don't want it to all look like that. Like I do want it to be irregular, so some pieces are okay. So I'm just going to take the ends and curl them in on some of the sections, just so it's not all sticking straight out. And the sections right on my face. Underneath, I did it forward just to, um, just to give it a little bit of irregularity. But on the top, I'm doing it away from the No matter where you part your hair, I'm going to split it in the center and curl it like that because this way when you run your fingers through it and you mess your hair up, it just gives it a little bit more of that messy beachy look. So for my hair, I just used like I was saying before, crumb for style and run through when my hair was wet. But if you have fine hair and you need a little bit more hold in there, you could use R & Co um, Outer Space, which is a light bulb hairspray and it's very flexible. So once you can spray it section by section. If you need a really strong hold, your hair doesn't hold curl very well, I would recommend Orbe Soft Lacquer, section by section. 
And now my fringe that I'm still going out, oh, I want to kind of just flatten it and add a little bit of bend to it just to tie it together with the rest of my hair. So what I'm doing is wrapping it at the root and then I'm kind of pulling it straight down. This way it's going to help keep it nice and flat. And then I'm adding a small amount of weight to it. Direct it away from my face. And now I'm going to finish with Death Valley by R & Co. This is one of my favorite products. It's a dry shampoo and it helps add um, lots of body to your hair and also soaks up moisture. So if you do need it for your next day, it's an amazing product. So what I'm going to do is just lift my hair and I'm spraying right at the root. And I think we're pretty happy with this product. You can start with a little bit feel it in your hair, so if you um, just start with a little bit, you can always go back in. I know I love it, so I just spray a lot right away. This one's great for when you're, um, for next day, but I also, when I wash my hair, I don't like it to feel super clean, so I use it like the day I wash my hair as well, just to give it a little bit of grit. And then now you can just play with your hair and see where you want to place it. Tuck my fringe underneath. And you can tell like you have some wave in your hair, but they're not perfect curls. And it's really messy and I love messy hair. This is actually one of my favorite looks because I like it to look like I literally just woke up and didn't do anything. Just brought a little bit more hair over just to cover my fringe. And this is why I like to put my hair in the center when I'm curling it, just because it's so irregular. Like these pieces, if they were on this side, it'd be a little bit more perfect, but now that I've brought them over, it kind of, they just like stick out and I really like that. There we go. And if you have, um, if your ends are a little bit, um, dry or if your hair isn't mine or not hair naturally has a lot of texture but if you want to add a little bit of separation you can use um r co continental so that one's really nice and moisturizing and it also adds lots of separation which would help create this texture thank you so much for watching and you can subscribe below or leave a comment